this is a lesson on selection, uh, which sounds kind of lame, but uh, you know, there are some cool things you can do with that. There are two selection tools, and 90% of the time you're going to use the regular selection tool. It's a dark arrow. In fact, let me zoom in on these two so you can see what's going on. One's a dark arrow, uh, and then this one's called the direct select tool. It's the white arrow. 90% of the time you're going to be using the regular selection tool, and that one is for literally, I want to select the blue rectangle, the green oval, I want to select and move, and okay, so that's a, that's a, a no-brainer. Okay, here's where you'd want to use uh, the direct selection tool. Notice when something's selected, it has these corners and edges, and we've done that before, okay, we've, we've, we've sized those before. But if you want a little more control on this, you're going to get the direct select tool. Now, here's where it gets really weird, and I don't know why Illustrator does, does this. You really can't do anything cool with the direct select tool until you deselect. Make sure nothing is selected on that. Okay, now it's deselected. If you hover over the corner, that little point appears. Now, with the direct select tool, you can alter just that little point. You can alter just that little point. If you go over here and you go around two of them, or more than two, but for right here it's just two, um, both of those are going to be, uh, those little points are selected. See how they're dark? These ones are hollow. Both of these are dark, and now both of them can move. So you can start altering. That originally started as a rectangle, right? Well, now it's this funky shape. Um, and that's with the direct select tool, okay? But the weird part is it can't, the item can't be selected first. All right, so now let's go over here. To this thing all right it's not selected and so you got to kind of hover to find and I just know from experience out oh, there's one right at the top there's one at the top there's one at the bottom if I go over here this should be on each side okay well now that I have that selected well this has these little handles on it and this is because it's a curved shape the other one was straight so now on these handles you can start curving them like this Okay, you, um, you just start grabbing these handles and you can stretch it out, okay? But one, when you start rotating it, one affects the other. See how the left is affecting the right? All right, you get these kind of cool blobby things. All right, well, if you want to affect just one side of this but not the other, hold down the Option key and now do that handle and see how this one is separate? Okay, so you can start getting kind of, oh, it kind of looks like lips. Green here, let's make it red. <laughs> It looks like lips. Um, anyhow, um, so that's how that works. You also can, if it's deselected, and you click in here, you can just get that whole line segment in between those two anchor points, or what they call them, um, and you can start messing with those. Here, look, we can start making, you know, cartoony kind of lips right down the center. Anyhow, uh, that is the difference between select and direct select. Now, if I want to size or move this thing, I want to make sure I switch back to my regular selection tool, and now we can size it like we did before, move it, okay, rotate it, uh, whatever. That's with a regular selection tool. You'll be using this one 90% of the time, but when you need to start tweaking something, you use the direct select tool.